Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install gutters and downspouts. So the first thing I've done is installed a couple nails, one in either span, side of the span of where the gutters are going to be installed, and run a string in between them. And what I've done here is basically put the nails such that I can ensure a 1 16th inch per foot slope, drainage slope, uh, for the gutter. With the string line now installed, I can now install my gutter brackets uh, at the appropriate height to ensure I maintain the 1 16th inch per foot uh, slope uh, along the length of the span for the gutters. So as I attach each gutter bracket, I make sure that I maintain uh, the brackets along the string line to ensure that I maintain the appropriate slope. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that you want to space the gutter brackets evenly along the length of the roof line. Last thing you want to do is have brackets installed at uh, irregular uh, locations along the, the roof line as it won't look aesthetically attractive. So now I'm just using a chop saw to cut this vinyl gutter um, to the appropriate lengths to uh, put in between the gutter brackets. So now we're just clipping the gutter into the brackets. Uh, again, this is a vinyl gutter system, so it's very easy. You just cut the um, gutters to the appropriate length, snap and clip into place. And that's it, we've snapped in our last piece of uh, gutter, all we have to do now is put on the downspouts. For the downspouts, I just took two elbows and put them in position and measured the distance between the elbows and cut a piece of straight uh, downspout to uh, connect between the two elbow pieces. Now I'm just dry fitting the elbow pieces together with the straight downspout portion and look like looks like it's all set. So what I'm going to do next is just take some silicon caulk and put some uh, seal right around all of these joints. I've now completed installing the downspout. I've got brackets holding it in place. I've used a silicone adhesive in all the joints except for this elbow point here because I want to see how things uh, go with the terms of drainage. I may want to turn this elbow 90 degrees or add uh, a little bit more of an extension out here to really move the water away from the garage. So the last thing I'm going to do is install this uh, gutter strainer uh, into the downspout to basically mitigate any um, debris uh, getting clogged into the downspout area. And with that, this project's complete. If you have other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today. <laughs>